Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and I'm talking about Xbox Game Pass. Now, Xbox Game Pass kind of came, I'm not going to say out of nowhere, but I guess I just didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Xbox Game Pass doesn't just have a bunch of old games on it that you may say, hey, let me play this game because I missed it when it was new or something like that. Yes, it does have those, but it also has brand new games like the outer world which isn't even a microsoft ip just came out on day one on xbox game pass a and how they're doing xbox game pass right now it's just working very well it's basically like the netflix of gaming except it's not streaming you're actually having to download these games now xbox game pass as xbox goes into xbox series x they have to really pull it off well i believe because i think that will really have a big impact on the console wars in general. What I mean by that is that unless PlayStation comes up with something that will rival Xbox Game Pass, I really think the Xbox Series X can use that as a huge advantage over the PS5. Because, like I said, Game Pass has basically been the next list of gaming. Yes, it doesn't have everything, but it has some new things, it has some old things, it has plenty of stuff that people wouldn't even try and as I think Inside Gaming pointed out it actually helps indies because certain indies I don't think people would have tried if they actually had to buy them themselves so it does help certain indie franchises I believe and I really think next gen Xbox Game Pass is going to be a huge part of it but I'm not exactly sure how they'll do it because will they continue just to put a lot of games when they first come out on Xbox Game Pass because with bringing out the Xbox Series X, they're going to need a certain amount of money back. So are they going to hold back on games from going to Game Pass so people can buy them first? And then when the sales start to dwindle, they put them on Game Pass. I hope they don't go that direction because I think that'll be a mistake. I think that would really cause a lot of people to shy away from Game Pass because it would just be like games from this generation and a few games from the Xbox Series X generation and whatnot. So I really think that for xbox series x to be really successful they have to make sure game pass still runs like it does now where you have some new games some old games some games that have been out for a few months some games that have been out for a good long while and i really think if they treat it like they are now that will really impact their success of their console because game pass really to me is a huge advantage that microsoft has and I do believe that eventually PS5 will have to come up with something that rivals it. But what do you guys think? How important will Game Pass be to the Xbox Series X's success? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. May God bless you all.